it's been a while since we uh, since we do a video um, sometimes life gets in the way and uh, and thing gets a little hectic but it's all good good hectic type of uh, activities that have been going on we just finished uh, graduating 17 dogs for our um, inboard training program and uh, we're about to start another one on the 28th and that will be the July uh, inboard training program with dog ability dog training um, and then we're gonna be going we're gonna take off one whole month where we we're gonna be traveling to Minnesota with uh, one of my buddies and uh, trainers Gene Bailey and our dogs we're gonna be uh, doing some dog training up there with the rogues uh, gonna visit my buddy Josiah Newman and uh, and then hopefully uh, competing with our dogs but anyways uh, lots of exciting things going on and um, and I have a special video for you today uh, anyways just wanted to show you these very interesting birds and uh, they could be anywhere here but they definitely stick around where, where the resources are uh, see how close we can get hey guys hey guys here we go. Come on. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, guys. Ready? Ready? Come on. Yeah. Big mouse. These pelicans are awesome birds. Um, they sometimes when they fight for a piece of fish, it looks like a bunch of people with, with chopsticks trying to get a piece of sashimi. Um, Look, oh, look at them here. They, they're they playing tug of war for a big uh, flounder carcass. Um, do you see that basket right there? They they think about stealing fish from that basket, but, but they, they don't do it. The reason why is because the, the people that clean the fish, they, they make sure that they are they, they get some sort of consequence for stealing fish from the basket. So I was telling them, well, if they do that, then at some point you should reward them with, with a big piece of fish um, in order to 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 fulfill them um, it's not that they can't have some fish it's just don't go they don't go the wrong way about it and and that's that's an important fact of uh, animal training you can you can punish an animal for not doing an activity but if the activity it's um, and here they're off the screen now but let me finish that that point if the activity is fulfilling to their nature to 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 their biological needs uh, sometimes you can punish that activity but they'll, they'll still be uh, they'll, they'll attempt to continue it so you you just have to confirm hey this is the way that you should go about it it's not that you can't have a piece of fish but don't steal it you can have it uh, if you go the right way about it uh, here in the screen uh, you see a couple of our a few days ago uh, 17 dogs graduated from our born and train uh, uh, program the high reliability um, obedience program um, I was so satisfied with this class every everyone who who took uh, the time to come in and, and learn about dog training did such a great job um, we had fun but they took it seriously and um, and I think they, they really embrace embrace the, the philosophy of Having dogs should be fun, but but also there is an aspect of uh, responsibility and seriousness to it. You can see us here uh, proofing uh, uh, stay uh, on a on a bed, uh, creating different scenarios. I'm I'm actually playing around, asking the uh, the, the client, uh, a acting like I'm somebody with a with a with a stroller. Um, we do this in a in a control environment, and all these dogs uh, stay with us for four weeks, and their people come at the end for five straight days, consecutive days, and learn about the signs of animal learning. Um, there is a lecture portion to to our classes, and then there is four days of hands-on experience, um, in the in the really really life-changing uh, program for 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 the folks that join. Um, People go home prepared to deal with all kinds of situations, troubleshoot, and, and learn the four, four quadrants of, of dog training, uh, open conditioning. Um, so this is this shot is at um, Duke Duke University, Duke East Campus. We we also take our clients and their dogs to um, 
proof and practice in, in real world scenarios. And um, again, guys, all of you that, that joined our, our, our the, one, the session that just ended, thank you for, from the bottom of my heart. You know that I do this. This is, uh, this is my passion. Uh, it, it's definitely not for the money, um, even though it's become a, a, a very good thing, but it's, it's, it's really something that, that we're seeking to, to change lives. The other cool thing, we have a, a, a pretty good uh, student-to-teacher ratio. We can have a, have a couple of resources um, so we can coach uh, large groups of people, and, and that helps. Um, and uh, thank you to, to also my staff, uh, all of you guys. I really appreciate you, and uh, thank you for doing a great job. In, in the distance, you see Gene. He's, he's uh, the, one of my trainers, and um, he's someone who very, has very, very natural dog skills, and, and he's a very capable person when, when it comes to dog training. Um, anyways, I wanted to say hi to everybody um, and just let you know there is a video coming within the next few days. Uh, here's a little snippet of the beginning of that video. Sorry, can't do it right now because it will be a very long video, but I'm gonna gonna show people how I play with my dogs and uh, how how I condition them and keep them fit. Um, and anyways, it can be done with with any kind of dog, but uh, I'm gonna have actually three three videos: one for high energy dogs, one for uh, older dogs, but they might they might be still high energy dogs but then they're, they're getting up in age so we play a little bit differently and then i'm going to show you for for those of you out there uh, with dogs that you know those dogs that are kind of like the couch potato they don't want to do anything well you if you get creative you can find activities for your dog to do and 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 because i understand not everybody has a high drive dog that wants to do all kinds of things every second of their life but I, I will show you sort of like three segments of it you know high drive dogs uh, high drive dogs that are now older and then the third one um, just the average pet that that it's not too motivated to do anything we, we're gonna show you how you can uh, with some creativity um, motivate your dogs to, to do fun things and um, not only that, when you do things with your dogs, you create a bond, uh, a very special bond with them. And as long as that, it's um, it's something that that is uh, within the framework of of of, of rules and, um, and 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 fun. You 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 can see the what how it bleed over uh, to your uh, to your life. Anyways, don't want to hold you here for too long. Thank you guys for um, staying tuned, and uh, we will see you soon. Uh, before I go, as always, I ask you the question, are you happy with your dogs? I'm very happy and extremely hyper satisfied with my dogs, but are you happy with your dog or dogs? Um, answer that question, and until next time, we will... Uh, We'll be playing with the doggies. See you soon. Nice one, Juan. Nice one. Bye-bye.